Oh, we have some juicy news today. Amaranth, the uh, Twitch thought, I say that not as an insult. I mean, she's on Twitch. She does the damn. She's the reason that uh, Twitch actually banned the hot tub streams. Has an OnlyFans, you know, sells uh, her body online. Isn't he thought, you know, sells it to simps. She abuses sexually unsuccessful men online for money. I wouldn't call her famous. I don't know, like a B-list, a C-list celebrity. We don't really have celebrities anymore, but people know who Amaranth is. I did a segment on her, I think a year, two years ago, where she bought billboards outside LA advertising her OnlyFans. This woman has used her body, she's used her sexuality to make a fortune. I'm pretty sure she's made a couple million dollars through selling, you know, sexual material directed towards low value men, low sexual value men, men that can't get puniti. If you're a dude and you're an Amaranth fan, your your hand has probably seen man meat more than it's actually seen animal meat if you uh catch my drift so she has some bad news she was signing up for celebrity boxing i guess some kind of stupid youtube boxing circuit they're doing and she put out this tweet i tend to keep my medical stuff private well i don't really think your privates are private but let's continue and i would have kept my current situation out of the public eye but i feel like i owe you all an explanation on account of a few canceled high-profile appearances. So she's been canceling a bunch of, I don't know, meetings, talks, you know, how to sell your body online to lonely men to make money. Uh, I don't really follow the chick, but whatever. She says, I was informed in March that I have late-stage ovarian failure. Yeah, cue up the hammer hand, no eggs jingle. No eggs, no eggs. She got no dusty, crusty, Fusty eggs to give to lusty Sims. None. Amaranth has hit the biological wall. People think the wall is, you know, I talk about the wall and black pillars get upset. They go, well, I saw my granny getting reamed out when I was eight. Don't tell me about your personal traumas, please. Uh, The wall is, it's a metaphor. There's many components to the wall. Most people understand the wall as the age when a woman doesn't get nearly as much sexual attention from men. Whether it's 30, 28, 32, whatever. People have different definitions for the wall. But it's all linked to fertility. It's linked to a woman's ability to produce healthy offspring. So many signals that men pick up and go, oh, she hit the wall, is directly related to fertility signaling. All right, it's, it's, oh, she's wrinkled, she's ugly. Why do you think an old lady is ugly? Why do you think loose skin is ugly? Why do you think sagging tatas are ugly? Why do you think crooked, stained teeth are ugly? Why do you think horrible scars and marks or sunspots or smallpox scars on someone's face is ugly? It is a signal in your brain saying, eh, you know, don't get it up. Not worth the time. They won't give you healthy children. And Simps will come out and be like, hey, I would love to date a 48-year-old retiree. I get it, Simp. You would like to date an old woman that doesn't give you kids because you don't understand the purpose behind these biological imperatives. You can't think about what's attractive, why it's attractive. You're only thinking with your stick, right? You're only thinking with the little man downstairs. That's it. Okay, whatever. That's why dudes like feet. That's why dudes will like get cozy with an oak tree. That's why some freakazoids will you know go and abuse some camels. Of course, Avalon. That's why people have weird uh, sexual fetishes that doesn't really you know end up in kids. But with the advent of modern medical technology, we have all these methods to delay to alleviate these biological laws. Old woman put makeup on. Old ladies use the foreskins off of babies to make stem cell treatment for their faces. There's a mil- the, the makeup and face rejuvenating industry is billions and billions and billions of dollars. They got birth control. Now you have sexually attractive young women being able to have unprotected sex and not having kids. You have all these things that kind of alleviate or mitigate or sometimes get rid of the consequences of biology. 
Unfortunately for Amaranth, late stage ovarian failure, also known as primary ovarian insufficiency, has not been cured by modern medical technology. Now, for her, the downsides are the symptoms. So, chronic, I don't know, I'm just a YouTuber. I'm just a red pillar. I'm just here to, you know, listen and laugh at dusty thoughts of no eggs. What, what, what's a symptom of ovarian failure? Think of how your mama, your grandmama went through menopause. Yeah, Amaranth has been going through menopause the last couple months, confused about it. You know, she probably just had some hot flashes. I'm feeling tired. I'm getting moody, whatever. And she dealt with it and dealt with it and dealt with it until something came up. She's probably told her doc, hey, I haven't had a period in like two or three months. Am I prego? I can't be prego. I'm one of the top OnlyFans creators in the world. I got so many I <laughs> I got so many IUDs stuck inside of me. If I change the letter to E, it's like Iraq. <laughs> So she went to her doctor and they did the scans. They checked her blood. They saw her sex hormones were uh, disastrously low. So what? Right? So what? Amaranth hit the biological wall. I think I saw there was a 5 to 10% chance of POI patients of, of getting pregnant. It's basically when you get menopause before the age of 40 as a woman is when you get primary ovarian insufficiency, a.k.a. POI. So, I mean, so what? I don't think she planned on having kids. What is Amaranth? I think she's 28, guys. She's either 28 or 29. Let me look it up. She's 29 years old. Okay. What? <laughs> By the time a woman's 30, 95% of her eggs have been flushed down the drain. I'm pretty sure it's 95. People always like to roast chronic and they get upset. It's like, you know, I'm looking 18 to 22. I want healthy children. I want a lot of healthy children. And they go, what if you saw a beauty? What if, what if Amaranth, 29 year old Amaranth was trying to have your kid? Yeah, she could try. At this point, it's not going to work. You know what would have prevented Amaranth from suffering? If she had kids early, she had kids at 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. You know, one of the few protective factors, one of the few things that reduces the chances of you having primary ovarian insufficiency is actually having kids. Ah, she hasn't had kids yet. She wants to live the life, the luxury of a young, beautiful white woman in the West. Everybody worships her. She walks on the street. Dudes will protect her. Dudes are paying for her meals. She's probably been having what? She's 29. She's probably had dudes falling over simping for her for 14 years. There's guys listening to this right now. 14 years ago, you were in elementary school. Since you were in kindergarten, young Brutus, this woman has been treated like gold. She's been treated like a goddess. Dudes simping left and right for her. She's lived an easier life than 99.9999999999, call me German, percent of people on earth ever an attractive white woman is the most privileged existence to have ever ever occur in human history everything around her it's white men and non-white men just catering to her existence so i i feel maybe i feel a little bit bad for her menopause symptoms i don't think i want anybody to get hot flashes but it's funny because we're going to realize here in a couple of years, she's going to turn 33, 34. There's going to be the next sweet, hot, young, white thing or Asian thing or whatever that comes on stage. I guess an OnlyFans goes on Twitch and replaces her. She's going to be like, I want a family. I don't think you can have a family the way you want to have it. I mean, you can always adopt. You can always get a donor egg. <laughs> No, but feminists, for as much as they hate biology, they think they conquered biology, you know, all these entitled feminists walking around in the West. Isn't it funny how they always save their eggs? It's just an egg. It's not a kid. It's not yours. Why don't you use someone else's egg? Why don't you use someone else's embryo? Why don't you adopt? And they'll never tell you why. Because at the end of the day, they have some link to their own biology. It used to be my kid. Well, what happened to you having your kids and you're 18? What happened to all the eggs you flushed down the drain, you threw away in the bathroom basket bin and, and filled up with bloody tampons? What happened to all the eggs that you needlessly casted aside to sell your body 
to lonely men online. The men that give Amaranth money are the depressed men, are the incels. They're the ones that don't see a light at the end of the tunnel, and so they just attempt to have some kind of dream, a fleeting idea of a parasocial relationship with a beautiful white woman who just also just so happens she's just so nerdy. She does cosplay pictures. She knows what she's doing. She's targeting young nerds. She's targeting young autists. She's targeting young incels to give her money, to fund her lifestyle. This is the <laughs> this is the outcome of the e thought. You know, you reap what you sow. Amaranth has sown fields and fields of seeds of loneliness. Dudes lit up at, in their bedroom at night, beating it to her all alone. Dudes giving their money, their disposable income to her, not going to the gym all alone. She's been sowing loneliness her entire life. See, usually when a woman reaps the loneliness that she sows, you know, when you reap more than you sow, she's like 35, 39, 40, maybe after a divorce. But this is such a beautiful example of celestial justice. We get to see it happen before she turns 30. I, I bet she's just doing all the appointments to try to see if there's any eggs left in those dried up ovaries. Please just let there be one egg. Yeah, go extract the egg, freeze the egg. And when you go, when you go to Dr. Chud in 10 years to implant it because you can't get any money off your simps anymore. Oh, sorry. Egg got freezer burn. Bye bye. And she's going to act like it's the worst thing in the world. I don't know her opinion on kids. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Let's see if she wants kids. Hmm. Real quick. Of course she's on all the gamer. Nope. Don't find anything about her talking about kids. I would assume she wants kids, and I'd assume she wants her own kids. You know, kids with her eggs. But your eggs are gone. They are a fleeting memory. You chose, Amaranth, you chose to engage selling your body online and maximizing your sexual marketplace value and converting it into financial resources. If you sell all of your eggs, you're not going to have any chickens next winter. Crazy, right? But it's okay. I don't really know this chick. I don't know Amaranth. I don't know what she wants out of life. You know, the commies, the leftists, the simps, the feminists. They're going to come up on this page and be like, maybe she doesn't want kids. Cool, whatever. I don't care. I don't want her to have kids. I don't. Let's imagine if Amaranth had kids. Can you imagine being Amaranth's kids? Shout out to um, Hunter Avalon's kids. Yeah, they're going to turn 18 and find out their mom wanted to get down with a camel. Tisk, tisk, tisk. That is absolutely terrible for children. Can you imagine being Amaranth's kids and she's like bragging when she's like dropping you off at middle school? Yeah, I banged that celebrity. Yeah, I banged that celebrity. Yeah, I banged that celebrity. Oh, here, um... You know, all your all your friends at school and your bullies at school are laughing at you because they're showing you pictures of your mom bending over. And this is good. I don't think she should have kids. I don't think she could take care of kids. I don't think those kids would grow up to be confident individuals is what I'll say. But let's take the kids out of the equation. What does she have to look forward to? Mood lability, mood swings, insomnia, irritability, hot flashes, night sweats, amenorrhea. Which is no periods. Vulvo vaginal atrophy. What is that? Okay. When a woman doesn't have a healthy amount of estrogen circulating around the uh, genital tissues, her vulva will actually shrink and they'll get dry. But I'm more than certain that Amaranth's team of physicians will adequately medicate her and make sure she doesn't end up with the two actual pieces of pan pa sandpaper between her legs. I don't know. And, and uh, she could, she also have pain with sex. Oh, man. Imagine being a sex worker and you can't get wet and it hurts. Yikes. It's a good thing she already made millions of dollars off these lonely men, right? What else do we have to look forward to? Accelerated cognitive impairment. Ooh, I'm not sure how much more could be impaired, but I guess it's a possibility. Accelerated cardiovascular disease. I don't think Amaran's ever been fat. I don't think she smokes cigarettes, so I'm pretty sure she'll be fine there. Autoimmune diseases, yikes, uh, that's that's a coin flip. Infertility, osteoporosis, premature mortality. Yeah, I don't want Amaranth to be uh, ending soon, but I do think there is some kind of 
Beautiful Justice, that one of the top OnlyFans chicks, one of the top e thoughts that dressed up in gamer boy cosplays or gamer cosplays or whatever, you know, cosplays for gamers, happens to have one of the most devastating reproductive diagnoses given to her before she even turns 30. So lift the glass, celebrate, and hope that you, you know, I don't want to say this. I don't even say it could happen. Lift the glass and celebrate that your future wife isn't going to be a 29-year-old eggless thought wasting her time on the internet. It's been Undy Chronic, guys. Take it easy.